Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about if you should learn C Sharp and ASP.NET for 2020. This next year that is coming up is almost here now because we are in September. So you just have like four months until uh, the next year. So if you decide after this video, if you decide to start learning C Sharp and ASP.NET, you still have four months and should be more than enough for you to get the basics to get that job. But what I'm going to cover in this video, first of all, is going to be about if this language is easy or hard to learn, if there are some kind of job opportunities, good job opportunities, that's what I mean, uh, what kind of companies uh, they hire uh, for C Sharp ASP.NET developers and the kind of salary. All right. So if you want to hear all these kind of things, guys, stick around in this video and uh, make sure to watch it until the end. So let's get started with the first thing, okay? Uh, is it C-sharp? C-sharp, by the way, if I'm, I'm just like trying to make it easier for you guys, C-sharp is like the main language. And you got ASP.NET is like a library, like a framework that you use together with C-sharp. Uh, it's almost like if, if I want to make the comparison about uh, JavaScript and React, for example, it's like uh, you got the main language and you got like the library after that you can use. So if you want to learn, you need to learn first C Sharp and after you learn ASP.NET. But how easy it is to learn C Sharp? C Sharp is a, is a language that is a little bit closer to C and C++, okay? So this is a, like these kind of primary languages because with C and C++ are these kind of languages that they give you a lot of control. These languages that are used for, uh, for software, for hardware, for many different things, they are almost like the, the parent languages of all. Everything starts from there. Of course, everything starts from assembly. That's another kind of language. Then you have C and then you have C++ and everything comes around based on these kind of two languages, C, C++. And C Sharp is a language that is very, very close to this. So it gives you a lot of control. So it's a language that might be a little bit difficult for someone who is just starting out, okay? Uh, because I'm just gonna give you some kind of examples. In JavaScript, for example, when you, you start some kind of variable, you can say let name equals to whatever is your name. Um, in C Sharp, you need to do, for example, string name, the, the name of the variable, and then it's going to be equals to something, something, something. So you need to really declare what kind of data type you are creating in that variable. It's going to be the same for arrays and many other different things. You need to create public, uh, public functions, private functions. There are a whole lot of things that you guys need to learn that if this is going to be your first language, it might be a little bit difficult for you to understand. Then, taking this, this thing apart, um, are there out there a lot of jobs for C Sharp and ASP.NET developers? Uh, there are, especially if you are living next to a big city. Next to the big cities, this is where the big corporation, the big corporation companies, uh, they are established. So it should be really easy for you to, to get a job as a, as a C-sharp developer because these companies, they, they need developers all the time because they are growing, growing, opening more offices everywhere and they need to more developers all the time. So it should be if you are interested in getting a job in these kind of uh, corporations, uh, it should be easy for you. But take this in consideration. Usually these kind of big corporations that they hire people for, uh, for C-sharp developers, uh, they, they, um, they demand you to wear a tie, a shirt, these kind of fancy shoes. So it's not a very relaxed environment. So this is just like to, to make you aware because uh, my second job as a, as a web developer, I work with C-sharp and ASP.NET. Um, and they, they were asking me all the time to wear this uh, tie and shirt and everything was not was not too fun. 
And then, of course, there is this thing that uh, it's not too easy to make some kind of relationships with the people at these kind of companies because it's a kind of a big corporate environment. So people, they are like at the top, they look down on you and you can't really talk to them. So you need to, to book an appointment. Um, so you need to take this in consideration. Most of the companies that I like to, to work is these kind of agencies, other kind of medium businesses, you know, there is some, this kind of more relaxed environment that you can wear a t-shirt like this, you can wear jeans. Uh, this is the kind of thing that I prefer, of course. But if you guys don't mind all these kind of things that I mentioned, go for it. Uh, and now let's go for something else that is salary okay salary is a big thing that uh, most of you guys want to know uh, uh, if i'm going to learn c sharp and asp.net uh, should i expect to get some kind of good salary um and the reality is c sharp developers they get really good money they get some really good salary anywhere in the world wherever you are if you are in india for example I bet that the salary that you get as a C-sharp developer is going to be much better compared to the, to the rest, okay? Um, and that's because these big corporations, they usually create these kind of desktop softwares for other businesses, other companies, uh, and they make a lot of, uh, a lot of money. And developing these uh, C-sharp uh, uh, applications is not easy, okay? Is, is actually some skills that they are not so easy to learn. Uh, so usually developers that they, they build these kind of applications, they are really well paid. Maybe not so much at the beginning, but after some years of experience, you should see your salary like raise quite a lot. All right, guys, I think I think that's it for this video. As you can see, really, um, if you want to go for, to learn C Sharp and ASP.NET for 2020, there are loads of opportunities out there. Where I live in here in Manchester in the United Kingdom, uh, there are a lot of companies hiring for it. The problem is that it might, there might be a, a bigger barrier, a more difficult barrier for you to get into it because of the difficulty. I think learning C Sharp is going to be much harder than you, for example, learning JavaScript or learning PHP or Python. These languages are much easier to learn when you are starting out. Uh, if you are completely new, it's going to be harder for you to learn C Sharp. But if you learn it and you get that first job, you will see that the salary is going to be quite good. Uh, and there are a lot of opportunities out there because these kind of things, they are coming from uh, uh, Microsoft. So a lot of companies, they are building these kind of applications that are even using this kind of Azure. I don't know if you have heard, it's like this kind of cloud from Microsoft. Uh, so it's quite popular anywhere in the world and it should be easy for you to get a job on it. All right, guys, I think that's it for this video. I hope you could understand what I'm trying to tell you in here about this C Sharp. Uh, go for it, you know, if you are really passionate maybe about building this kind of desktop application and to get that good salary, of course, like everyone wants. Um, and like I said, that's it for this video, guys. What if you watch this video until here, uh, please leave it a like, comment down below because this is a way that YouTube helps promote my videos and help grow my channel because the more engagement there are in my videos, the more YouTube promotes it because the algorithm has not been too fair lately with my channel and I feel like the channel is just like dropping and I'm trying, you know, to keep it alive guys with, with more tutorials for you, with more videos like this, but I need your help as well. All right, guys, I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one.